Hi guys and welcome back to Keep Smiling Adventures and today we are going to be doing the Before You Ride, the Brecken's Bash. Just got back, it's fresh in my mind and good trip and we're going to go over everything you need to know including which bike is best, what's the wild camping like and then finally we're going to give it like my final overall rating. One being don't bother, 10 being amazing, go and do it. Also gonna be giving it a difficulty rating so you know what to expect if you want to go and ride this route. So without further ado, let's jump into the Before You Ride, the Brecken's Bash. Let's do it. The Brecken's Bash is a short bikepacking route through the Brecken's National Park, starting in Merthyr Tydfil and finishing in Abba Gaveni. This route is a beautiful route. Short, yes, but still has some challenging and tiring parts, but will reward you with some absolutely incredible views. The riding is fun, technical, rewarding, and a little scary in places. This route will keep you on your toes, burn through brake pads, and have you in awe of your surroundings. It's rocky, it's rough, it's fun. Being a short route, it's a perfect adventure for a one to three days, or I think a perfect winter escape if you are brave enough. Lots of stunning places to spend the night under the stars and an opportunity to spend a night in a bobby. Some trails along this route can be hard to follow, so a GPS for mapping would be ideal for navigation. This route is for someone who wants a good short overnighter bikepacking trip but does already have a good level of bike handling skills as the terrain can be hard, rugged and technical with lots of very steep descents. Although it is a short route at about 70 miles or 112 kilometers, wouldn't put this on your list for a first timer as the riding can be a challenge with a fair amount of hiker bike. This is a good route for somebody who already has a good level of bike handling skills, but maybe wants to go a bit further and test the water if they will enjoy bikepacking with some wild camping and spending a few days on the trail. Equally, this route would be a good one for a good solid day challenge as it could definitely be done in one go. There is very little in the way of shops, pubs and cafes along this route, so make sure you stock up before you set off. Plenty of shops in Murphy Tidfield and at the finish in Abergavenny. With this route being a short route, you should be able to carry everything you need for the whole journey anyway. If you really need to get some stuff, then Brecon Town is just off the route. If you like real mountain bike riding with some lung busting climbs and some technical and rough descents, then you will enjoy the Brecon Bash. There is a fair amount of hiker bike along this route due to the steepness though. The best bike will be a hardtail mountain bike, either a 29er, a full suspension, or a plus bike. The terrain is rough and steep, and I would recommend not doing this on a gravel bike, as a lot of the route will be mostly unenjoyable on a gravel bike. I'm sure some of you out there will take it on on the gravel bike, so if you do, make sure you have the biggest tires possible, 50 millimeter or bigger I'd say, but for those that want to enjoy the riding and have more fun, then opt for a more mountain bike specific bike with the easiest gearing you can get as you will need them. Make sure your brakes are working perfectly as you will need them for the steep descents on this route. If you choose to do this route as an overnighter or two, then you will have plenty of opportunities for some epic camp spots. However, bear in mind that the most, if not all of the camp spots that you will likely opt for will be quite high up, meaning the temperature will be a little colder and the wind can be strong. So picking your spots carefully is important. You will also have an opportunity for a night in the bobby if that is your thing. The best option for wild camping along this route would be either a bivy or a tent. Most of the route is quite exposed with little chance of hammock camping.
This route is pretty accessible if you want to use public transport as there is train stations at either end of the route. The trains will be transport for Wales and they do have bike spaces. Although they are limited, so you are supposed to book your bike before traveling. However, I've never found them to be too strict. Trains can and do become busy. The Transport for Wales trains don't use the hooks, at least not on any train that I have been on in Wales, so you should be able to get your bigger tired bikes on. You can also extend this route from Newport by following some canals and rivers which are all flat and pretty much traffic free. I will give the difficulty of this ride a 6 out of 10. The distance reduces the difficulty for sure, being fairly short, but the difficulty comes with the steepness of a lot of the trails, and some of the trails can be rough and can be hard to follow. There's a fair amount of hiker bike with the steepness of the trails. You are not always rewarded with a nice flowing downhill, and sometimes the downhills can be just as tiring. It's definitely for your more experienced rider. I'm still undecided if I think this route would be better going in the opposite direction, but probably edging that it is going in the correct way. I really enjoyed riding this ride for me. This is a perfect rugged winter adventure. The views, the remoteness, and a fairly rewarding ride with lots of tiring parts to give you a good sense of achievement when you reach the top of them hills. Some technical riding to keep you on the toes. I'm going to give this route a seven out of 10. It's beautiful, it's hard, it has some great camping opportunities. For me, this type of ride is perfect for a winter adventure. Being alone with no one around makes it all the better. Right guys, there we have it, the Before You Ride, the Brecon's Bash, absolutely awesome time on the trails, that one, perfect for a winter adventure in my opinion. It's short, it's rugged, and it's just generally really beautiful. And just being out on the trails, completely alone, in the winter, when it's not very busy, it's just perfect for me. So yeah, that is the Before You Ride the Brecon's Bash. Go and have a bash at the Brecon's Bash. I recommend it, just not if you're a complete beginner because it is not easy. Guys, if you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you are not. And until next time, keep smiling, enjoy the adventure.